Hey guys, well in this video I'll be showing you how the pathfinding, this pathfinding that I showed you in the, in the, in the previous videos, and how it actually works and you will see it in action. But before that, go back to your search cell and go into your Manhattan distance and you'll notice if you compile it, if you're using it when, or when you start using it, you're going to get error. And if that's because you have to cast it again as a float with all this for both of them you have to cast a, a float to all of this so you just create parentheses and put in and cast the whole thing otherwise you will get an error but other than that it will, everything else will work fine so I'll show you the game in action hopefully it doesn't lag my video so let, I'll, I'll let you guys see it Oh, what the heck happened here? All right, real quick. I forgot to switch this. Um, blah blah blah. All right. Hopefully, it doesn't like my video. Alright, so you can see the whole pathfinding that it's searching. The red one is the path, the shortest path that it's going to take. And the blue one is the path that's already visited. And the green one is the one that's going to search the next cell. So you see it in action. And there's two players. One is one is the blue one and one is the red one. The red one is, my, is me or my player, I guess. And the other one is the AI. Or well, actually, they're both AIs, but... Well, you see it in action. The the other one has also has a pathfinding. So you see it in action that it actually that it actually works. But yeah. Uh, let's see real quick if I didn't miss anything. Let me see. I want to show you guys something real quick. And my pathfinding looks a little bit different, of course. You can always optimize it to make it better. Oh, yeah, and here, in your continue path, if you want to make your path a little bit faster, you just create a for loop in the in the whole thing and set it to four. Without this, you're pretty, yeah, your pathfinding will be a little bit, a little, will be slower. But you want to optimize it and make it a little, a little tiny bit faster, and then you can, you can do that. You just create a for loop. You see that you, it's a little bit slower this time, but no, hold on. It's, it's just said that every time your your enemy or AI or whatever attacks you, you'll stop um, accelerating. So you have to wait a few seconds until it actually starts accelerating again. But yeah, you see, it actually, it's a little bit slower to actually find its path. But if we actually create the for loop. It will be a little bit faster. Wait, it's always a little bit uh, optimization you could do here. And you always could build from this. You always can build from it. And you also gotta be careful if your position doesn't go outside the, your grid. I'm pretty sure right now it's actually off the grid. Anyways, when the mines comes off the grid, it actually researches the whole thing again. But yeah, you already noticed it. And like I said earlier in the in the previous video, I think it was when I told you in the in the next path pause. I told you to pass in like an AI class, or whatever. I pass in a game object since that's where I get my position at, and you just pass it in here on the object's position and my radius, and that's how I get my pathfinding. And unlike the other videos, I actually didn't show this function, but this is just debugs my, and it will draw the squares that's actually searching through, and that's why you see on the screen. But otherwise, it's showing you that it actually works. And you also notice in the 
in my the tutorials that I made in the previous video, you can get errors saying that it has an unsigned match mismatch or whatever. And if you want to fix that, you don't like that. In every for loop that you create, that you go inside the uh, open list, visit the list, and path goal. And here you can just set it to unsigned, and you will fix the the it will fix the warnings if you don't like the warnings. But other, otherwise than that, and it will work completely right. But yeah, so there it goes to pathfinding. And it took long. Well, it should it should take longer. It's pathfinding, but hope you guys understood it. If you guys don't understand what any of that what, what I went through, then let me know, and I'll, I'll try to elaborate a little bit more on those. But yeah, thanks for watching the tutorials. And in my next tutorial, I'll probably thinking of creating a three three D in OpenGL and show you some matrix stuff and how to create a camera class and all that. The cool stuff, but I don't know, I'll, I'll let you guys know in the next tutorial. Alright, see you guys later.